Good morning. Let's look at the gender pay gap in the city of Palo Alto and other diversity in analytics. Let's export the data to Excel. In the source file, as you can see, there is a lot of data but no information about gender or diversity. We have first name, last name, salaries. So we're going to use Namzor and RapidMiner leading data analytics tool to extract name, gender, and origin. To do that, we're going to add Namzor extension to RapidMiner. Make sure you have two operators, extract gender, extract origin, installed from the marketplace. Then create a new process, read data from Excel, write the results to Excel, search for the extract gender operator, Connect the operators together to create your process flow. Select your Excel file. You should see all your input data there without any gender or diversity information. Click on Extract Gender Operator and select the first name and the last name columns. This is a free operator. However, if you want to speed up the processing, you can register online to obtain an API key. So go to mashape.com and subscribe to the service to obtain an API key. This is a freemium API, so you can try genderizing about a thousand names per month for free. Copy your API key in Mashape as well as mashape.com. Okay. Now select a name for an output file and you'll be ready to run your process. With the free API this will take about 30 seconds and with the freemium API it will take one or two seconds. As you can see, using the gray light, processing has completed and we can now visualize the results. The software has inferred the gender information, recognizing that Andrea Rossini, for example, might be Italian, is likely to be male, whereas Andrea Parker is likely to be female name. Now you can calculate the gender gap, the gender gap, and the gender pay gap as well using the wages column. Names that are unknown could be initials or Chinese names or Korean names that uh, are not gender genderized names.
as you can see in the results it's also possible to calculate the gender pay gap using one of the salary columns now we're going to look at another operator we're going to extract origin from personal names linguistic cultural origin this is basically the likely country of origin. In a very similar way, we are going to select the first name and the last name column that our operator is going to use. We are going to register on MashApe to obtain the API key. Again, the API is freemium, so we can obtain a free API key that will allow to process about 100 names per month. And there are other pricing plans, depending on how much data you need to process. So we'll select the API key and copy the API key in RapidMiner. We'll just select so mashape.com and we are ready to launch our process. We'll just change the file name for the output first. Now we are ready to run the process. This will take a few seconds. When the light is green, we'll know processing has completed and we can view the result information. As you can see, the software has inferred a number of country ISO codes. The first one is for the combined first name and last name together. And you can see the country name in clear on the right columns. There is also information on a score that can be used to sort information from most certain to less certain. And now we can hide some of, of this information so we can see more side by side names and what information has been inferred from the names. As you can see, we have a Russian name and we have other cultural origins that have been inferred so correctly. Generally, the information is going to be correct as a whole, uh, but on a name-by-name -name basis, it can be incorrect. So this information is statistically significant, but not relevant to, to see or to analyze on an individual name basis. It's possible also to then combine all this information together and analyze diversity as a whole in a population. So we're going to do a simple cross tab to do that. And we're going to look at the number of employees from different regions, top regions and sub regions. And, of course, this information could be analyzed in various other ways to measure diversity.
So you'll see more gender diversity use cases on gender gap grader. And of course, you can uh, visit our website to get more information on the API of the toolkit. Thank you very much. Have a very good day.